Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at the nth term test by examining a few examples. A uh, quick reminder, this test only tells you about divergence. It tells you nothing about convergence. And basically, if you take the limit of the sequence, dropping the summation sign, right? That's a series right there with the summation. We just look at the sequence, just the a sub n. And if it doesn't equal zero when we take the limit as n approaches infinity, it diverges. If it equals zero, try another test. So let's look at these examples. Here's example number one. Right away from your pre-cal days, you should remember that whenever these two exponents are the same, the largest exponents, that means that the limit when we approach infinity will equal their coefficients. So let's see it in action. Uh, first step is always to plug in your bounds. And in this case, when you plug in your uh, your limit, I'm sorry, I'm tired. It's 1.30 in the morning. So when you plug in what your limit is approaching, you get infinity over infinity. That's indeterminate. You can either do L'Hopital's rule. Since these powers are to the fifth, that's a pretty large power. I'm going to try the algebra route. I'm going to factor the highest common power, in this case, n to the fifth. And hat over factor tells me what's left behind. So I had 2n over n to the fifth gives me n to the fourth, minus 3 over n to the fifth, algebra. If you don't remember how to do this, just go back and review factoring out your greatest common factor. Or watch my video. So if I do it in the denominator, I'm going to get a 1 over n to the fifth minus 1. Then what happens? Well, we can cancel out these n to the fifths, and anything that has an n in the denominator, when we take this limit, you should write down on every step, as n approaches infinity, this will go to zero, that will go to zero, and that will go to zero. Okay? And then we'll be left with a 1 over a negative 1, which is equal to negative 1. And if you remember, the nth term test said that if the limit does not equal zero, therefore, series diverges. Uh, we can go ahead and write the actual series. So, therefore, uh, the summation n equals 1 to infinity. Diverges, and you have you have to have to have to tell what test. So diverges by nth term test or divergence test. We'll okay. So what did we do? We stated the limit, stated it didn't equal zero. That's a condition for divergence and the actual test. Every one of these problems should look something like that. Now, in this case, I can look by inspection and see that the numerator is going to be larger than the denominator. And in this case, you get infinity over infinity, indeterminate. Uh, I'm going to do L'Hopital's rule this time. So uh, we derive the top and the bottom. So I'd get a 3n squared minus 2 over a negative 2n. And when I plug in infinity again, I still get infinity over infinity. And it's still indeterminate, so I do L'Hopital's rule one more time. And I'm going to get a 6n over a negative 2. And since n is approaching infinity, 6 times infinity over negative 2 gives me a negative infinite number. That, as well, is not equal to 0. So therefore, your original series diverges by nth term test.
Okay. Last example, I can see right away that the exponent here is 5 and the largest exponent here is 2, so it's bottom heavy, it's going to equal 0. So right away, if I was aware of what was going on and knew my tests well enough, I would know not to even try the nth term test here. This is probably a comparison test uh, would be best for this one. But uh, what, just to show you, uh, if I take – oh, somebody commented on Facebook. Sorry. Uh, if I take the limit as n approaches infinity of uh, – that would give me infinity over infinity. Indeterminate. Let's do a little tall, so we'd get eight n plus one over two plus five n to the fourth. We evaluate the limit. Still infinite over infinite. Still indeterminate. So we do little tiles again. You get 8 over 20n cubed, deriving the top and the bottom individually. And when we do that, we end up with a number over infinity, which is 0. You get 8 over infinity, which is 0. And we know that that tells us nothing, so we would go to another test. Inconclusive. Okay, so if you're aware and you see a power of bottom is greater than that of the top and they're both algebraic like this, go ahead and just try a different test, okay? But if you see that uh, it's top heavy like this one here, n cubed versus n squared, that's going to be an infinite answer, so therefore uh, it would diverge by the nth term test, okay? So all that is part of your answer. Don't forget to tell what test you're using and the condition that made it so, all that. I hope I've cleared up any confusion that you might have. Remember, practice, 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 and thank you and have a nice day.